that is awesome, Chris. Whoa, what is this? Good morning, everyone. Happy Set Me Up Sunday. We're going makeup free today. I'm just not feeling it. I've washed my hair, I've shaved, I'm fresh faced today, and that's that's what I need. <laughs> so I tried a new shampoo bar, not a bottle, that I picked up, or actually I lie, Cruz picked up, he prefers shampoo bars, from Lush when we were in Brisbane a little while ago. And we ran out of bottled shampoo and conditioner the other day and I didn't realize so I thought I would use his shampoo bar just the once until I got my shampoo and conditioner back. But I was amazed at how well it dried. It wasn't frizzy at all. And so I am trying it again today to see whether I have the same results or whether that was a coincidence. So stay tuned because I'm super excited. I think if you followed me for a while, you will have seen me share a number of times how frizzy that's the boys in the background, um, how frizzy my hair dries. So I'm gonna try it today and just see how it goes. I have two fairly cranky boys today because Tim was away and they were sleeping in my room with me. I put on a family show on Netflix and then I fell asleep and the show continued to loop and one of them was up past midnight watching that show. So today could be interesting. We're just gonna have to take it one hour at a time. We are off this morning. I am going to vacuum out the car and then I want to take the boys out for a breakfast treat while Tim's away and I have them all to myself. Happy Sunday, boys. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I love you very much. Tastes good. It tastes like pink Next milk. Sunday, we're going to be talking about it how tastes to like footy. Milk. Yeah. Um, Next Sunday, we'll be updating them on like your touch pink footy. Milk. It tastes like pink milk? Yeah. That's because it is pink milk, honey. It's pink flavored the milk. They said it was strawberry. Yeah, the strawberry oh. milk is pink milk, Kelly. Delicious. Did you call it pink milk. Other people call it strawberry milk. Delish, your favorite, hey? Good way to start a Sunday.
clear that you told me I should film this for Set Me Up Sunday. What you doing, bud? You were making dinner, weren't you? And then a knife attacked you. Make lunch instead. <laughs> Make lunch. No, you can keep loving cooking, just being super careful, hey? Careful is not working for you, no. All right, we're back home from the hospital. It's 8.30. We're obviously all still awake. Um, so I had these, I actually, they were left out on the bench because we were doing all of this when- They're still cold enough. They are still cold enough, yeah. We were, um, I was going to put these in a the slow cooker when um, Bruiser cut his finger. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put them in the slow cooker now and I'll see if I can leave them in overnight on low. I don't know. And I'm going to stay away from the kitchen. You're going to stay away from the kitchen for a bit. He is. And we still haven't had dinner. So it's a different set me up Sunday. And it's not a bad thing that um, we caught this on the day that I film what we get up to on set me up Sunday because this is life. These sorts of things happen. So I could go straight to bed. Absolutely. Um, but Tim is working on a school project and assignment that Cruz needs ready for Wednesday. And Cruz can't really help. Um, Tim is away this coming week. So uh, yeah, once tomorrow morning comes, we won't be able to get his help with the assignment and Tim's using a jigsaw to do it. So yeah. So I'm going to do the slow cooker. Tim's doing the school assessment. Cruz is just winding down from all that adrenaline. And uh, I did tidy up the kitchen a little bit, but there's a little bit more to go. All right, that has been turned on now for deviled sausages, uh, which will be lovely for tomorrow night's dinner because Tim is away, so I'm just setting myself up. This is the bacon that was cooking when we had to leave for the hospital, so I've got to clean that up and then it's time to make dinner. This time I'm gonna use a kid safe knife to cut the avocado. <laughs> We're gonna cut an avocado again, aren't we? This one's quite soft. So I can do it. I last don't have time. To cut <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. Last time did you cut like this and then go like that and that's how you cut through? Okay. But so no, I was holding it more like so I was holding it like that. So okay. then I went like this and it was in and then it went like this. Right. So what I'd recommend even with a sharp knife, although these these are the kids safe knives so they can't cut you. Um, see? So this what I'd work. recommend with a sharp knife though is that you point the end in first like that. Ah. Because then see that? <laughs> And then you go around. So you want to do that? Yeah. It's quite soft, that one. All right. <coughs> Don't scream when you're... <laughs> you pop the matter? see there. Okay, so like this, <laughs> and then around, all the way like that, around. Remember, you're cutting through to the seed, like that. And then when you get there, twist. 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 Open. Open. Then, Would you like to I, do one? Can, no, now I've got to hit the seed to get it out. No, you don't need to do that, but here. Show me with this one how you cut an avocado. Like uh -uh, first, like poke it in. Yep, there you go. Yeah, you go. Boing. Yep, and all Boing. the way around. That's it. Yeah, all right, what do I need for the pancake? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Uh. You're very safe. All right, we're doing a breakfast dinner. Tim is away for the week. So we are going to make bacon and eggs because Cruz cooks that so beautifully. So we're doing bacon and eggs. Pancakes, so maple pancakes, because I feel like ma maple bacon, and then avocado and Hunter's tomatoes. Hey, Cruz. Mm -hmm. So what do I have to do with this? I have to you got fill to it with water. Fill it with water to Okay, work. hang on. You don't do that because you're going to make a bit of a mess with the avocado. So just straight, whoop, just straight through like that instead of back and forth. Do you, you want to twist it? Twisty? Yeah, of course you can. Right, let's do this. And then can I stab the knife into it now? Yeah. I need a sharp enough to get the seed. Oh, goodness. Be careful. No. Be careful. I'm not using as sharp as I cut myself with. I might need as sharp as I cut myself no, with. No, 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 no. See, uh-uh, that's, that's, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. You said, you All said, right. you now, said not risky as Mummy does, just with a spoon, puts it underneath the seed like that. 
and then grabs it out. Okay. And Daddy uses the yeah, butcher knife but and hits it. Maybe don't. <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't copy it. All right. Now I've got avocado, my guess. Also, darling, the door's open. Oh, you weren't going to eat that yogurt. You did well with that. Also. Okay, good. Mommy asked if it's better to cook the eggs or the bacon first. I wonder if you agreed with me. I think that cooking the bacon first is better because it makes the pan more greasy for the eggs, otherwise the eggs will stick to the pan. Good point. Yeah. Can I show you how the knife I cut myself with? This is the knife I cut myself with. Yeah, probably shouldn't have been using this to cut an avocado. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the eggs weren't that good, but the bacon makes it a normal dinner. Bacon's two times as good as it normally is, and the eggs half. Wait, why do you have? Oh, I will actually have a toast. All right, this was the plan on Sunday night when things didn't quite go how we intended them to. So we have made uh, breakfast for dinner, and, and it's no one of our favorites. And no one cut themselves, this is what yes. it looks like. That's Cruzy's, mine. So we do maple syrup on the pancakes and bacon, and then just normal. So easy and delicious. Oh, Hunt, I like chicken soft. And Hans wrote this letter for us. Thank you so much, Cruz and Mummy, for making dinner for me. Oh dear, we're gone. Not too much. I just was putting it on boat. Okay. Yeah.